So let's get started with the student's view. Now for that you need to copy the class code. So let me visit my classes and let me copy this code. Okay. So this was the code that was uh, for the created for the new class. And now let me get back to the student's view. So I am in another browser and I have started as a now I will log in as a student. Okay. Now I am going to log in as a student. I have selected I am a student option and again sign in with Google. You select any particular account. It will just verify and now you need to enter the class code because you have entered as a student. You cannot just directly log in. You must have a class code. Okay, so we have copied the class code. I'm going to paste it and then I click on next. All right, so it is uh, saying that the class has been found demo at puzzle and then we're going to join the class. So this is the student's view of the Edpuzzle classroom. Now you can see due assignments. Uh, the first section that is coming up is the due assignments and the assignment that has been posted by me on September 16th, uh, which is due on September 16th and start date is today. Okay. On the left hand side, here you will be able to see the classes of the students. So in whichever class the student is a member of. So right now, he is, uh, I'm a member of my class and I can join another class if I have multiple classes. So I can join another class okay, from here. So this is uh, showing the notification of one due assignments and no due dates and completed assignments if anyone. Okay. So let's see due assignments and now let's check out this video or this video lesson that has been shared by the teacher. Now let's get started. Let me reduce its volume so that you are able to hear me. Okay. So I have reduced the volume and now the, when the student starts. So let me just play the video. Have you heard about it? Information technology. IT. It and here you can see as soon as the time arrived of 0, uh, 5 seconds. So we have inserted a multiple choice question at 5 seconds. Okay, so what it does is Edpuzzle does is so whatever we have inserted it basically just pauses that particular video for that amount of time or for that uh, section that we have added for allowing the student to uh, answer this question or just uh, skip it. Okay, so this is the question uh, the student can answer here or he can just skip it. Okay, so the skipping will mark a zero for the student. Okay, so if they skip it, so they will be marked zero and they will be, uh, they will not be as awarded any mark for this particular question. Okay, so let me, uh, I would like to answer this question and let's say I have answered it as humans. Okay, so I'm uh, answering it as a, okay, so the answer is information technology. All right. And then there is a rewatch option. So let's say the student was not paying attention in the first and then he, he or she can just click on rewatch. The video will play from the beginning and then they can just focus on the video and then start uh, with the start focusing on the lesson. OK, so they can just uh, you click on rewatch and the video will. Uh, Have you start heard about it? The Information technology. IT. Right. It. So this is how I have answered this question. I have watched it. I can just skip it. OK, so let's say I submit it. And then. I want to. OK, so it is giving me the option output uh, the 100 out of 100. So since there was only one question and I've answered it correctly. So I've got 100 out of 100 marks. So now let me continue. It. Get it. It's the and stuff the we do right continuing. now. Connecting, okay. downloading, uploading. Let me just skip it. So here at this location, you can see the voice note that has come up that we have added. And when I click on this and now it starts, this video talks about information technology. Okay. So the student will be able to listen to the voice note and the video note, a written note that I have added at this, this particular time. All right. Then again, you can just continue. And then the video will start continuing and you can just move forward with the video. And let me just, I don't want to uh, watch the complete video and let I, let me, I have just skipped this video from here. All right. 
so i will show you why on purpose i am uh, leaving this video here okay so i have just watched it and now i um, want to go to back to the ed puzzle i don't want to complete it okay okay so in the student section also you can see this is unfinished right now so i have not completed this assignment so it is showing the unfinished status okay. now let me show the uh, teacher's view that how teacher is able to see the grading okay so let's go to my class okay, let me just refresh it and now you can see so turn in zero of two okay so you can see two participants are there and here you can see the students okay so one student is there So here you see this is the assignment which is in progress and it is showing turned in 0 of 2. Uh, I think it is considering me the teacher as well uh, for as a student. Okay so in the student section you see one student has been listed and uh, Sheetal Singh. Okay and let's check out the due assignment. So let me click on this and I want to check out that uh, who has uh, attempted this uh, lesson. Okay so you can see the student name saying Sheetal okay so you can see the second one is the teacher that's me okay so it is showing the progress that I have not watched this video after assigning and this uh, particular student of mine has watched this video 50% okay so it is saying that I have watched the video 50% so you can uh, check out that which student of yours has completely checked out the video he has uh, taken the lesson properly so this 50 percent is because you might be wondering that i have uh, stopped it at the end only before four five seconds but you might have uh, missed that i have skipped the video at certain times in between so it shows uh, exact amount of the video that i have seen okay so the student has seen only 50 percent of the video and the teacher has not seen at all so that's why zero percent so therefore no grades coming up and last watch when the student has watched this particular video and turned in not turned in so the status is also given and then you can reset the progress of this particular student so that they know that uh, you, their, your, their progress has been reset and they need to redo the assignment or you can unassign the assignment all right in the questions sections you will be able to check out the questions okay so one out of two right so it is showing the questions that have been answered by one student and the one question was right and second was not right all right so it gives you a correct and a complete overview of uh, the comprehensive uh, result of what your student has watched and how much it has uh, he or she has watched and how he or she has answered your questions in the video so this gives a uh, really uh, nice view of the assessment of your assignment also okay so you can let's get back to the student view okay so it is showing the unfinished status here so the student can again go to this and let me uh, now finish this assignment okay so in this to solve problems to make sense to make money let me finish lives, this particular video to be worldwide to source okay. So touch your school. So again, if again I will be sk skipping, it will be showing, it will be visible to my teacher that I have again skipped the video. Okay. So the student would be uh, would not be notified, but the teacher would be notified that they have skipped the question or skipped the video. Okay. So let me last uh, write down the answer of the last question. So what are your views about this video? I can just write down that it was nice introduction about it all right and then i click on submit then i click on continue and as soon as the video finishes my assignment will be complete all right now let me get back to my classes now here you can see again it is giving me the option that this assignment is unfinished still so you might be wondering that we have done all the questions we have watched the video since uh, still it is showing the unfinished so let's go back to the assignment and see what it is saying on the right hand side you can see 
in the student section the student will be notified that watch the whole video to turn in the assignment so until unless the student watches the whole video he or uh, his or her assignment will not be turned in okay so until then the assignment will be unfinished so the student has to completely watch the video in order to turn it as turn it in as a assignment so i will just uh, you so touch your school So the, now the video is playing completely and I would not interrupt in between. Okay, I will just, so this question has been answered. I will continue. So you have to watch or the student needs to watch completely the content that you have shared and answer the content until unless uh, he or she watches the content completely and answers the questions completely, the assignment will not be submitted. So here you can see it is showing that you are done. So I have uh, that part I have skipped and when I have seen that part, it is showing that the content has been completed and you can now, the assignment will be turned in. Now let's get back to the classes and here you can see no due assignment. So it has been turned in to the teacher and let's check out the teacher's account now. Okay, let me just refresh this page. So here you can see 100% watched, the status is updated that I have watched this video 100% and I have uh, turned in on time, alright, so I have turned in on time. And here you see the option one answer to grade. So this one is the open ended question that we have added in our assignment or uh, in the video lesson. So let's click on this to check out, okay, so here. So the, this was the question and it is saying that it is pending to be graded. So you have to grade it accordingly. What are your views about this video? So you need to uh, read out this. Uh, so since it was an open ended question and it, it cannot be graded automatically. So you have to uh, grade it accordingly. So let's say I want to give the student uh, 55 marks for this. All right. And then if you wish to add any comments that you have uh, Okay, so I can just write down a comment. Okay, so I can write down a comment uh, like uh, you must elaborate a little, right? And the student will be notified. I added the comment, okay? And then I close it. And now you can see the 55 marks with one comment and this is the second question that was visible uh, 100 out of 100 for this question all right and now here you can see the total grades of the students 78 out of 100 video was watched 100 percent two correct responses and time spent two minutes time turned in time this much so you can see a complete uh, brief of uh, everything uh, regarding the particular video all right and uh, here also you can see number of times students watch each section of your video. So here you can see a breakup that how many times uh, this particular student has watched which section of your video. So you can see the introduction section was seen three times. This section was seen two times uh, from 10 to 15 seconds was seen one time, 15 to 20 was one time and this section was seen five times. So you can see the complete proper track of the time spent on the video by your student. All right. So this is how you can grade your students in this on the particular given assignment. So this is the previous student and you can move on to the next student. So this was a teacher's account. All right. So this is how you can keep a track on each and everything regarding the video watched by your students. So this is how you can use uh, Edpuzzle to create uh, interactive video lessons to share with your students and then you can also keep a check on that how they have uh, watched the video or they have answered the questions properly or not they have watched the complete content or not all right so this is uh, really uh, useful when you have uh, want to keep a track that every student is uh, checking your videos or checking your content okay so I wish that all of you will be uh, using this particular 
platform for creating or sharing your video lessons with your students. And for any queries, you can just write down in the discussion forum. So, thank you very much. Have a good day.